Hey everyone, some time ago we did a waypoint optimization video. It was using the compute best order from the routing API and sorting the waypoints by the shortest driving distance. Today I would like to try the new waypoint optimization API that do even better. It will take historical traffic data in consideration, also will sort the waypoints using the fastest driving route and supports trucks and commercial vehicles. The maximum number of waypoints is 12, which is the average we see for a normal delivery in a city for in a single shift. But if you need more than that, you can always contact us to increase those uh, limits in your API key. Check the developer portal for all the information. Now, let's get in with the code. So we're going to add a simple map into our web application. Let's add the SDK, the TomTom -tom Maps SDK. I copy these styles from a previous application from another video, just to add the markers with a little image on it. I think it will be useful here. Of course, we will have a div, an element that contains the map itself. And from that previous video, we also have function to create the marker with a little pop-up and the image. So I copy here those as well. Don't worry, you will have the code in the descriptions as well. I added a bunch of waypoints, a lot of several waypoints that we represent the places that we have to visit to optimize our route. We have, of course, an API key, the one that we use for our samples. This is the map element, nothing different here. And we are going to create by initially the marker for our origin, our where the driver is going to start driving. Let's take a look how it looks in the application itself. As you can see, we are in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. And this is the location of the van that is going to be distributing whatever there is in this uh, waypoint. Now, um, the first thing we have to do, I think I want to add markers for each waypoint that we're going to visit. If we can iterate through the waypoints, and I know there are a lot of non locations, so for each one, maybe we just um, create a marker. I think it's called marker here. And we are going to create for each element a new marker. Maybe um, no need to put any uh, formatting. I just need no pop up as well. I think it's the pop up. I'll first put the location, then the no pop up. This should be enough for displaying the markers. Let's see how it looks like. And here it is, all 10 destinations that we have to visit. They are in no specific order. We don't know how the optimization, the API is going to give it the, or the correct order or the fastest or the best route to do it. I can see that one, the marker that is at the end is also on the origin because we want to go back to the origin when we finish our route for the day. And I don't think I want to display that marker there. Let's see if I can do something about it. Okay, let's go back to the code. And I think we can get the index from when I was iterating through the waypoints. And I believe the first index, the first value, if we are in the first value or we are not in the first value, then create the marker. Otherwise, just it will not create the marker. How about that? Oh, they have a little syntax errors here. I think I have my misplaced my parentheses. I cannot see it. Oh, yeah. One moment here. Today I'm feeling a bit rusty. Let's go to the application. And yeah, reloading. I can see that there is no market, no marker from the origin. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. So how about we go to developer portal right now and let's check the documentation for the Waypoints Optimizations API. There's a link here and as you can see it's still in public preview the moment I did this video and probably when it gets out it will be really public and available for everybody. Remember that we have a maximum of 12 waypoints that we can use this API with including the origin. Historical traffic will be included in the calculation to get the fastest um, way to optimize the route. Okay, we can check here a little bit what do we need. I'm just checking. You can see that we can select what kind of type of vehicles, like vans or trucks, and if commercial vehicles, etc. And we will get a, an array with the optimized values. 
So for accessing the API, we're going to use Axios. So let me for, um, added the library here. And let's use the post method from Axios in order to fetch the optimized, let's say. Right? We are going to request the waypoint optimizations here. We have to add the API. Can you, well, let's create the URL first. And I know it's API tomtom.com. Yes, of course. API tomtom.com. From the routine API, we're going to do waypoint optimization. We need to do the version number is one. And we're going to request the best route. We have to pass the API key, which we already have as a query parameter. Now, from Axios, we're going to do a post. The first parameter is, of course, the URL. And the second one is the elements or the information, the data that we're going to send in the post command. I'm going to put it empty for now. And, of course, when the call is successful, let's say, let's display the response for now. And display for the console. Okay, and if we have an error, let's catch the exception or the error. Another function, which of course we are going to display as well in the console for now. What do we need? I know that by default we need to send the waypoints. The waypoint information comes from the waypoint array. And since it's an array that has to be in another format, uh, each element of the array I needed to have a, an object called point in latitude and longitude in it. So I know we have a normal uh, long and lat object. So we, for every element, we return an object with called point and have the latitude. It's the element's lat, of course, and the longitude is the element LNG. Excellent. Now with that, we at least we should get something because we already pass in the waypoints and the API will give us uh, by default values. It will take the origin for the first element, create a root calculation with the historical traffic, assuming that we are driving a car. Oh wait, I forgot to, this is an error, it's point, the element, the object was called point. Okay, let's take a look at the console and the application and I see that we do have already a default values. Set and says this is the order. You can see it's that from Okay, it's from 0, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So that's around kind of accurate. Now, from another video, also have a way to display a root. But what we can do is to create a root with this optimized array. These are the indexes from the waypoints array. We already have a function from before. I'm going to copy it here. Um, from the result, the response, we know that it's inside the data. Let's call it solution, yes. From, from the response, com, no, sorry, it's called, yeah, data, and then optimized order. So, solution data optimized order. Now, let's recreate another array. We map it for each element and we're going to create another array with the location that we're going to pass to the routing API to create the route. So, we have already the order for each element of this map. We're going to return. Wait, we already have the elements from the waypoint, so we really don't need to create a new array. You just return the element, the waypoints array. Yes, it seems simpler. And of course, when we create the route, we have to pass the options. And the one of the options is, of course, the API key and these waypoints. So I think it's the key is API key and waypoints of locations. And then we pass the location that we just created. And that is it. Double check here. The create of the route, we actually will draw the route. And let's reload and voila. Wow, we do have a route, an optimized route using the values that we came from the optimization API. You can see as well that we created a route, but we don't know exactly which way to go, which way to start. So we're going to add some kind of index or same pop ups for the markers. How about that? 
Okay, so I think the first thing that we have to do is to make the markers accessible during the whole application. For the whole application, so it's an array. And when we create the marker, we are already adding the initial marker to the array. But when we create the destinations, we didn't do that. So we're going to add them as well. Marker, push. So they will be referenced later on we can add the pop-up later on when we already have the index that we have to update so of course when we get the optimized uh, route from the waypoint optimizations api we already have the order but we don't have the index so we have to add the index when i am iterating through array and we're going to create the pop-up here oh uh, wait i think we already create pop-up uh, up there in the code when we create the marker let me check quickly Oh, yeah, we just have to pass the options and the parameters and then set the pop-up text that we want. Let's copy this quickly. Offset is uh, 50 pixels on the, from the top by default. And the text would be, let's say, uh, okay, this is the destination number index, which is the current index that we have from the array. And then, of course, we're going to add the markers that we already have from the current optimize order we're going to add uh, a set in, in this case the pop-up so pop-up to the pop-up that we just created so with this at least we could see uh, when we run uh, the application and check the root again the pop-ups will tell you okay this is the station number nine this is number two and i think this is the end one yeah this is the last one because going back here so this is number one two three four five etc and so forth so this is the literally the order that the route should be taken. And this was all. Let us know in the comments if you want more advanced use cases. And as usual, thank you for watching and happy mapping.